Damn. Cheers, man. Make it look shiny. Yeah, I did. You got another red dirt one to film, mate. Ah, get out of here. What's with all the boys around here? They just want cuddles. <laughs> Hey guys, Dean here from Big Dog Builds. Today we've got back this awesome Australian Outback Overlander build. This one, when it first came in, we did a quick stage one build on it, being the suspension, bar work, as well as uh, strip the interior, ready to template up for the custom leather seats that are now installed. And we'll run through a few of the goodies that we've got for this awesome Outback Tourer. It's got the works. I can't think of any other upgrades for this one. I'm sure the owner will come back after this next trip and have a few more additions to add, but for now, this is pretty much the ultimate Outback tour you could get here on this F-Truck platform. So for the stage one on this build, it left us with the BDS coilover conversion kit done, so four and a half inch lift, and then it had the 20 inch race line wheels with the 35, 12 and a half, 20 Mickey Thompson Baja Boss tyres. And Tough Bars Australia out in Toowoomba in Queensland installed the bar with the side rails. And on that bar we installed the light force spotlights, a few other electrical components inside, as well as a UHF for his initial trip out west to his property. Now that we've got the rig back, we've gone to town on it. We've literally thrown everything we can think would be a big upgrade for the vehicle. The biggest thing on the back of this one has now got the GCI Traytech full tray canopy set up. So this is a lift-off canopy. Guys that are wanting the lift-off capabilities of the canopy, GCI are probably one of the best on the market in my opinion. So lifting off the canopy, you can also run the tray sides, which will be coming later down the track. They've just been ordered. Having the combination to run tray sides as well as the canopy on and off as required comes with a few other little challenges, being the reverse camera on this one as well as the rear work light. So we've made everything nice and plug and play, ready to remove with ease, put the canopy in the shed and go out and use it as a normal ute. When you want the canopy on for the longer trips, you've got all the power on board. You've got the water storage under the headboard of the, of the tray, so you can use this without the canopy on. But inside you've got fridges, your 12 volt, your 240, inverter, lithium battery set up. This is one of the more basic ones from GCI Traytech, but it suits the customer's needs perfectly. A lot of storage in the back ready to throw some um, boxes with all your goodies for camping and, and the mates out west on the property. Sticking with the exterior on this truck, you'll notice the brand new roof rack from Big Dog Builds up on top. So this is our first prototype rack on the F-Truck platform. We are super happy with this one, having the CAD files from Ford, we were able to nail the design and fitment perfect to the roof. Mounting it on the factory locations means a nice quick install and having the full steady flush mount lighting package being the work lights on each side as well as the 50.8 inch curved steady light bar on the front. This looks amazing, there's no wind noise and it's ready to house all the optional upgraded accessories. Mounting accessories on these racks is quite easy with the roll-in channel nuts on the T-slot crossbar design. On this we've got the four Maxtrax Extremes on the Maxtrax mounts as well as the Rhino rack stowets and a long handle shovel up here as well as a few more tie down points if um, the customer decides to strap any swags or uh, other accessories up on top of the rack. So it's an awesome looking design. We're really happy with the usability, functionality of this. The flush mount lights in the backbone really sets it off and sets it apart from anything else in the market. The accessories on the roof rack is switched all through the Switch Pro. So we've upgraded the initial lighting that are on the front bar, as well as all 12 volt applications through the Switch Pro SP9100 switching unit. As we know from each of our videos, these are our favorite units for these American trucks. We've got the usability to change the work lights on the sides. They've got dimming features. This one, we've got three different levels of dimming in each of the work lights, being the left-hand side, right-hand side, as well as the rear of the roof rack on the back of the canopy, sorry. And you can get on your phone. You've got Bluetooth capabilities here. And then having the high beam trigger for all your spotlight operation, you're able to separate when the lights turn on with high beam, which ones come on, and having memory on all of these switches means when you turn the vehicle off, on again, and hit high beam, those lights are gonna come on automatically. You don't have to reset it each time. This truck is built for purpose. It's gonna be out on a massive property out west of Queensland. 
and safety is utmost important. So we've gone and installed a front winch to the tough bar, this one being a 15,000 pound carbon scout winch with a nice wireless controller. Use it from the seat, driver's seat, or give it to the passenger and get out of those sticky situations. We've also gone and um, had GCI Traytech install the rear winch. This is a 12,000 pound worn winch. Same operation, simply have the wireless remote control Turn it on if you think you're going to need your winch, and if you do get stuck, you've got quick access there, both front and rear, to get out of those sticky situations, and hopefully there's a winching point on the ground, an anchor point, and you can get out of there and continue the trip. After the vehicle came back from GCI Traytech, we've removed a couple of the toolboxes underneath. This is the great location to add air on board to these vehicles. So we've gone and installed a Firestone Leaf Helper airbag kit. Being a combination and a lift-off canopy, We've also reset the leaf springs to suit the weight of the truck. We haven't gone as heavy as we would for the full-time canopy vehicles. On this one, we've gone a little bit lower. When the vehicle is loaded up really, really heavy and towing, we can easily now up the air in the airbags. The leaf helper kit will bring the tail end of the vehicle up nice and level. The twin via compressors under the vehicle, as well as the 11 litre stainless air tank, is switched through the airbag man pressure control module. So for this we've gone for the full wireless pressure control module as well as a wireless plug and play digital gauge. So you can see what pressures are in each of your left and right airbags and you can also turn the compressor on through the switch bar at the front of the vehicle, have the air pressure to the ARB outlet fitting so you can inflate deflate tyres and any other air accessories or pneumatic tools you might have out anywhere in Australia which is pretty handy. So this is a great air on board setup, it's our favourite. These compressors are IP67 rated. Having them tucked up under here, under the toolbox is a great location with the breathers up nice and high. Nice clean air, good air on board, and accessibility from inside the vehicle makes this setup pretty much the best you can get. Fuel storage on these builds is key. We've got a few different um, fuel tank storage or OEM replacement upgrades. This one is an auxiliary spare wheel delete uh, replacement tank, so it goes up under the rear of the vehicle. You can operate this one, it's got a little um, gauge inside the dash. You can flick the switch on the gauge, see what um, level the tank's at. And when you do turn that on, it'll automatically feed down into the filler neck and go down to the main tank. So you can't overfill the main tank, obviously, going into the filler. It'll then sort of level out between the two tanks. And when you know what, vehicle, what uh, storage capacity is in the rear tank, you can easily transfer it to the main one and know how much distance you have to empty. So this is the auxiliary fuel tank on this one. We can also do the OEM replacement fuel tanks, which is usually giving you around another 70 litres of storage in the factory position. The biggest thing to note on this is looking at your axle load ratings. So keeping the axle load ratings combined front, front and rear and how the vehicle set up is, is key to a nice safe setup operation and um, keeping it all legal for these big trucks and how much weight they're now carrying. GCI Traytech also installed the Clever Shade awning. So this is a wicked looking 270 degree awning that slots into the GCI Traytech uh, roof rack on the top of the canopy. 30 seconds to set up, if that. I think it's one of the neatest and slimline and definitely one of the lightest awnings out there. It's a great addition to those wanting to run a really nice lightweight option on any vehicle build that we can do here at Big Dog Build. Now that this vehicle is quite heavy, it's got the canopy on the back, the extra fuel storage and all the goodies that we've installed, we went and upgraded the rear shocks. So it had Fox 2.0 rear shocks. I believe that 2.5 remote res shocks and a good brand at that is definitely required for all of these vehicles. We've gone and installed the Carly 2.5 remote res king shocks for the rear. So these uh, res mount shocks will handle the weight of the vehicle a lot better. This one's already got the 2.5 remote res Fox shocks at the front being the coilover conversion kit. So it's got good shocks up front. We've now got the good shockies in the rear and will handle the weight of the vehicle. The rear end now being the leaf helper airbag setup. The leaf springs themselves having the upgrade done once the canopy's installed and now a good shock absorber will definitely keep the rear end nice and happy while towing and, and be as comfortable as possible on these long road trips out west.
We've also installed a few more Carly suspension goodies under the front of the vehicle. So we've upgraded to the full Carly torsion sway bar. This is a big upgrade from the factory sway bar or aftermarket sway bar from other companies. We've also gone and installed the front diff cover, which also houses the low mount steering stabiliser. So it's a bit of a two-in-one option, low mount steering stabiliser as well as an extra protection on the front diff cover. These Carly suspension components are definitely our favourite here at Big Dog Builds and mixing a few of their components onto other platform and other suspension types that we're seeing here, we're working out the best combinations to suit your needs and not just what we're running on the shelf here. The inside of this XLT F250 is a bit different to the first round that we sent out the customer on. We had some simple seat covers for his first trip. We've now got some custom leather seat upgrades with some extra lumbar support in the front seats as well. So upgrading from the base spec F truck up to now having the really nice Nappa leather interior. We've got the diamond stitching on this one as well as the perforated leather and lumbar support. It's a massive upgrade from what it looked like when it first came in the door. Being a six seat F250, we've also done the trim upgrades onto the front center console as well as retain the USB functions, the power set up in the dash. And we've done a few little upgrades in there, being the Switch Pro Edition, as well as a pass-through for the GME UHF with the 1.2 meter air antenna on the front bar. So we've got communications, nice comfy interior. The F-Truck comes with really good entertainment system from Standard. We've also sounded in the doors just to get the cabin a little bit uh, quieter on the longer trips. One extra little feature we've added to this is a reverse camera. So we've gone with the Parkmate um, two-channel dash camera as well as reverse camera setup. So this is a full mirror replacement one on the windscreen. We can simply disconnect the Deutsch plug that we've got to the rear of the canopy. So when the canopy does get removed, the customer can easily unplug this and use the rear view mirror as normal. When the canopy goes back on, plug the camera back in and have the full um, view from the rear full time while you're driving, as well as the added benefit of a dash cam through the front windscreen, as well as recording off the back HD camera as well. So this is a big upgrade for people wanting to run these canopies and you're losing that rear view from the driver's seat. You can now simply add something like this aftermarket. There's a few integration units depending on what vehicle you have but this one being nice and simple, mirror replacement looks great, works great and you've got the added benefit of dash cameras as well which is an awesome feature. We've also gone and installed the headlight upgrade so the XLT F truck factory halogen bulbs weren't the brightest. We've imported some Morimoto headlights for this one so the LED upgrade package with the DRL lights during the day Awesome running indicators and now good distance on the headlights at night time will really improve the drivability of this vehicle at night. I think this wraps up this F-Truck build. Like I said, it's one of the ultimate F-Truck builds for remote touring around Australia. We've got good suspension, good wheel tyre combo, the air on board set up now with the driver's seat operation for the leaf helper kits as well as tyres up and down the roof rack for storage up on top with the built-in LED lighting package, the GCI Traytech canopy on the back with the Clever Shade awning, and the few accessories from Max Trax Australia and Rhino Rack being the shovel stow it. This is the ultimate tourer. Can't wait to get some photos from the customer on the property and on the future trips and seeing what else we could add to this one down the track as well. Stay tuned guys, we've got plenty more videos coming for the rest of this year and I look forward to seeing you in the shed. <laughs> we do want Jimny builds though. Big dog, Jimny builds coming soon. <laughs> Put on the back of one of these trucks. <laughs>